Hey there, it's Dave again. In an earlier video, I showed you how to create a test. It was really easy. We just hit the Create Test button. We chose Performance Test. And in that one, we actually uploaded a JMeter script, right? But what if we wanted to create a test really fast and not even create a script? So one of the ideas behind BlazeMeter, right, is how can I make tests faster more often with less overhead and just get results quickly, right? So in this case, let's take a look at what I want to be doing. I've got this demo site here called uh, Demo Blaze. And if I were to go look at one of the items in here, um, what's going to happen is there's an API call called View, which fetches the URL for this image, the title, the price, and the description, right? And I want to be able to see if that can scale up at concurrency if we make a lot of those requests at the same time does the system handle it okay, right? So this is what it looks like kind of at a, at a simple text level, right? Which is I'm going to make a post call to this URL. Um, I'm going to need a header in here to declare the content as JSON. I've got a very small JSON body. And the response that comes back is, is what we have down here on this line 7, which is a big JSON body that has, you know, image with the URL, the price, etc., right? And the description, right? So Let's figure out how quickly we can set up a test for this in BlazeMeter. I'm going to go over here and start a timer. Okay, and then let's just grab that URL and get started. Right, so we'll come over here, back to BlazeMeter, and I'll say I want to enter URL and API calls here, and I'll say this is going to be the view API, and this is going to be a post. We'll put that URL in there. Okay, and then we know we need headers, right? So let's cruise back there and just grab uh, the header. So it's going to be content type. And that's here. And it's going to be application JSON. Got to copy that, but I know what it is. So I'll just go move on, right? And then um, we need a body, right? So we have some options on the body. I could put them as key value pairs, but I've already got the JSON body as text. So let's just go and grab that. That's going to be this guy here, right? And we'll paste that guy in. Boom, and we've got our body. Now, I want to do one more thing before I finish, which is that I want to make sure that I get a well-formed response, right? So what I'm going to do is go over here to this assertions section. And I'm going to say that I want to choose a uh, text assertion, right? And I want the body of the response to contain the word price. I remember there was one of the things in that body was the price, right? And the, and the field name that comes back is price, right? And I'm going to click add. And what the system's going to do for me is actually create a regular expression, which will find that in the body, right? Uh, I don't know if you'd like to write regular, regular expressions or not. Uh, most of us don't really love to do it. Some of us know how. But this way, the system does it for us. Boom. I'm ready to go, right? So now all I need to do is decide how big I want this test to be and how long it's going to run. So I'll say let's run this to 100 users. Um, and let's just run it for five minutes. Real quick one this time. Right, uh, and I'm good to go. If I wanted to run this from within my local network and I'd set up a local location, I could. In this case, I'm just going to run this off Amazon. Now I'm done. So I'm done setting this up. Let's just give it a name, and uh, let's stop that timer. Okay, so two minutes, 18 seconds to get the test set up, ready to run. You know, if you come back over here. Um, all I need to do now is hit run test and this is going to launch, right? So let's go ahead and do that. Boom. My test is now firing up. So if this were a local test, uh, I'd be up in about 30, 30 seconds or so. Since I'm running this one on the public cloud, it'd take me two, three, four minutes to get it fired up. I'll fast forward this video and we'll go to the point where we can take that work we did and we can actually harvest that and Created into something we can we can put in version control to follow our release through uh, through the pipeline. So back in just a sec. You know the thing about BlazeMirror is actually kind of fun, right? I, I I spent two two and a half minutes getting this thing set up, and I was able to kick off a test, and I ramped up the test a bit, and I saw that I was getting more throughput, and the response times are great, and then suddenly, bang! I hit a wall here, and we've actually have exposed is that the way that our our um, Lambda is configured on Amazon, uh, it's actually being throttled already, even though we haven't even gotten really to very much heavy traffic. You know, we were at uh, something like. 156 hits uh, per second and suddenly boom we just got throttled so super easy to find these things out so fast and uh, and then uh, uh, be able to take actions make some reconfigurations or whatever and test again right so uh, that's what's great about blaze meters it's super fast to get the results you don't find this out two weeks or a month later you find it out you know two and a half three minutes after you decided you wanted to look
Okay, so I stopped this test a little early because we already knew we found some kind of bad results here. Um, what we want to look at now is how do I quickly harvest the test configuration I just created and put it in version control, right? So if we go to the logs tab here, we'll find there's an artifacts.zip. And if I download that artifacts.zip file and pop it open, we'll see that in there is a um, blazemeter URL test script.yaml. If I bring that guy up, here you go. So this is a YAML file that defines the entire test, including um, uh, what endpoint I was hitting, what body I was sending, what headers I was sending, uh, what assertion I had to check for that price, and then even the location I ran it from and the concurrency and the, the duration, right? All there in 22 lines of code. I can take this and I can commit this into my source control uh, so that it can follow my release through the pipeline, right? So this is just a taste. We could have done, we could have done chained request. We could have had the output of one request uh, be extracted and used as input to another request. Uh, the, the possibilities are endless but the idea is that you can build up very quickly from simple uh, tests to more complex tests without needing, you know, a degree in rocket science. I hope this helps. Hope you enjoy your time with BlazeMeter. Have a great day.